welcome back to my 12 Days of Craftmas series. So today we're going to be making some mini stockings. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a bunch of these because I want to turn them into an advent calendar garland. For the past few years I've been doing kind of like a throwaway advent calendar that was only good for that year. And I've been trying to come up with an idea that would work into kind of like my minimal type decor. And I think that this is going to be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make mine with some grain sacks, but you can use any kind of fabric you want. Um, I am going to use a sewing machine. If you didn't want to sew, you could probably make them with felt and pinking shears. I don't think that'll fray. Um, you could do them so you don't even have to sew them together if you don't want them to be actual like functioning stockings. But I'm going to go ahead and use a sewing machine on mine. So my first thing I did was print out this little stocking pattern off of the internet. And you can print it and size it to whatever you want. But because I'm going to put so many of them on there, I needed to keep it small. So I just went ahead and traced it on some craft paper. Now I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to leave a little bit around this line here. And the reason I'm doing this is so that there's a seam allowance. Otherwise when you go ahead and sew it or put it together, however you're going to do it, it's going to end up smaller than you intended. So I will show you, and I'm kind of just eyeballing it. I know like when I sew like the normal amount, I usually leave on the edges. So that is how it turns out. I made it just a little bit bigger. All right, so I have a bunch of different grain sacks here, and this is the one I'm going to use for the front of the stockings. I have this one that has a stripe down the side. I'm going to alternate the pattern kind of so that it can goes vertical on some or horizontal on some and then some just will have like little pieces or none at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this plain one I'm going to use for the backing and I'm going to lay this out first. I'm going to choose which side I want to show when the actual stockings are put together. And you're going to put that side facing up like this. So I mean anybody that sewed, I know that you're like you figured it out. It's kind of like when you make a pillow, you put the good sides together and then you stitch around it. So that's basically what we're doing here. And because the green sack, I can see through it, so I will be able to work with it even when it's right side in. So let's see. Now, if you can't find green sack, I know that Walmart has some really good like ticking stripe type fabrics. Alright, so that's gonna be my good side. So Walmart has some really good ticking stripe type fabrics that would work nicely for this. You could use canvas, you could use duck cloth. And I'm just going to go ahead and trace out my stockings because it's Advent, I'm going to do 24 of them. So I'm not going to make you guys watch all that. I almost traced it with the wrong stencil after that whole thing. Um, so I'm not going to make you guys watch me trace all 24. But I'm going to go ahead and do them and get them cut out and then we'll go ahead and stitch them together. So now I'm sewing all my stocking pieces together. Um, I'm not like a wonderful sewer. This is just a machine I picked up at an auction for $5, but it works perfect for me. So you can see that I stitch the tops down. If you're going to put a cuff on it, you wouldn't need to do that. You just put the cuff over the raw edge if you wanted to. But I wanted them simple, so I used an iron just to get a, a nice line. And then I just stitched them. I actually just kept the whole thing on the machine while I was doing it. So now I'm just trimming them apart in their sets of two and stitching them shut. And you want to make sure again that the good sides are facing in. We'll turn them out at the end. And we'll put the strings in them at the end too. If you wanted to, you could put the strings in now. You would just sandwich it in here and make the loop face in on the inside. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead. I want to try and find a little bit of like red and white baker's ribbon and use that because I think it'll go perfect with the color scheme I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch these shut. I've got 25 to do, so it's going to be a little bit. I'm going to let you guys listen to some Christmas music, and then we'll come back, and I'll show you how I'm going to put the strings in and attach them to my garland.
Now I want to give you guys a tip. Um, you can see as I'm going around the round part of the stocking, as long as your needle is down in the fabric, you can lift the presser foot up and turn it just a little bit to make going around the sharp turns easier. And then just do a couple stitches at a time. I take it nice and slow around these tight parts. But you can see then you can lift the presser foot, turn it a little bit, do another few stitches until you get around the really tight turns. Because on a small piece, they are hard to make. So as I get to the heel, I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure the needle is in the fabric. Lift and just turn a little bit. I'm going to do another few stitches. And then now we're on the home stretch. We're just going to lift and turn. Now I want to make sure before I get to that part that this hem is flat because I don't want it to be sewn wrong. And then just go straight out. So I'm so happy with how this garland turned out. I've got it just going across one of my cased openings right now. And it's all 24 of the stockings. So I'm going to use mine as this garland. I'm going to go ahead and put probably a lottery ticket in it each day for my husband's advent. Um, but you could use them as ornaments on a tree or if you made them a little bigger I think they'd be super cute holding like silverware on your place setting for Christmas dinner But I kind of just love how simple these are and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a garland on the other side of this opening um, So you'll see like the garland and the lights and then from this side you'll see the little stockings also And I made an extra one as a giveaway for one of you guys also. So I have this one right here and it's just a white one with the stripes on it. Um, so same rules as usual. Just be a subscriber, like and comment and for the United States only. And I will announce the winner at the end of the 12 Days of Craft Miss series. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see you in the next one.